Garcia here, uh, general manager with Cage Fury Fighting Championships. Here with uh, Rafael Chavez, who will be making his CFFC debut on Saturday, April 14th uh, at the Borgata in Atlantic City. Um, Rafael uh, was in the middle of a training session but took time to talk out to us. Uh, Rafael, first of all, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, I, I would assume a lot of people wouldn't know you uh, in the New Jersey MMA scene yet. Tell us where you're from, and I understand you're 3 0. Talk about the fights and where have you fought before? Well, I'm from Brazil, but I was, I've been living here in the US for the past eight years. But I was living in Florida before I moved here uh, two months ago to train with Kurt and, you know, try to get my fight career going here in New Jersey. I feel like it's a better place to be. No. And. Is your your professional records three and zero? Yeah, three and zero. And and how did you win those three fights? Uh, my first fight I won by TKO. The referee stopped after I got the guy down and hit him on a couple of shots. The referee stopped. He was out. The second fight I won. Like it was pretty much the same thing. We got in the clinch. We got down on the floor. I got in my position. Landed a couple of shots and the referee stopped. And my third fight was in, uh, last August and. Like we got on the scramble, got on the floor, and I was trying to hit him. He bumped me off the the mile, and I got an uh, arm bar. Now, are there any? Are you nervous about fighting in a different area that you're not used to fighting in, or or is this just business as usual? Well, I'm nervous. I would be nervous fighting anywhere. It's not about the place or who you're fighting. It's just obviously who you're fighting has a lot to do with it. You train for it, and then you know I, I believe this opponent now. For what I've seen and, and searched, like he's better than, not better, but more well-rounded than my other opponents. And I guess uh, a step up in competition for me, I would say. And I'm obviously nervous, you know, the good nervous that you got to be before a fight. But it has nothing to do with the place. Obviously, it's a, it's a bigger show than I fought before. And that might play a little bit of a role. But once you're in there, like, it's, it's a fight, you know. So right. I'm nervous as I would be for any other fight. Right. And your opponent, uh, Brian Kelleher, you know, is it does have like the experience factor over you? Um, what, what what's your assessment of him as a fighter? Wh where are you looking for this fight to go? Well, I had the chance to to watch a couple couple things on him, and he's definitely a very tough guy, a wrestler, you know. So I'm expecting nothing but toughness, and I know he's gonna be relentless, and you know the never say die attitude that wrestlers have. But I saw his striking too, you know, he, he has, you know, heavy hands and, you know, he's not afraid to stand up. So that's what I mean when I say he's a well-rounded fighter. So I have respect for that. So I, that made me train real hard for it as hard as I could have and try to get ready for every situation. But I don't really have this anxious of taking him down or getting taken down or knocking him out. You know, I, I believe the fight's going to develop the way, you know, it has to be. So when we get there, whatever he gives to me and I, I'm going to try to counter that and you know main thing I just want to win no matter what how's the fight going to end hopefully me winning <laughs> okay do you have anything you want to say to your fan sponsors or anything I just want to thank everybody here in New Jersey you know thank all the guys here at Pellegrino MMA Curtis be helping me a lot for this fight you know my strength condition everything the people at elite sports and all the guys here at the gym and looking forward for the summertime because I can't take the court anymore all right now if you win this fight um, you know, Kurt's been in my ear about a, a, a possible title fight. Is that something you're looking for in the future, or would you rather get uh, a few more fights underneath you before you take a step like that? I'd rather fight this fight first, and then we see what's going to be. You know, you never know what's going to take you. This fight might be the first of many or the last one in my career. I don't know. You know, I don't want to think any far, any further than that. Like, I want to take this fight, see how things are, deal with Brian, and then after that, I'm going to see what I have to focus on things I have to fix in my training if I have to fix something for you know in a short time and then after that we'll see all right thank you for your time Raphael all right thank you all right